very quick note on shoulder shaping, on the shaping um, of the hot water bottle as it comes up, as it comes up to the neck. Um, this, these shoulders are shaped just using um, two different decreases. One is a slip slip knit decrease. That's always gonna be the first one you encounter on in either needle, the slip slip knit. And on the, the last one that you're gonna do is a knit two together decrease. So I'm just gonna show you both of those. Um, and um, I'm nearly there with it. Right, so I'm on the front side, obviously, of the hot water bottle. So the first decrease I do will always be this slip slip knit one. Okay, so the first two stitches on, on the front side, I'm going to knit, uh, sorry, no, I'm not. I'm going to slip the first one as if to knit. So I'm just going to put my needle in as if I'm going to knit it, but slip it right off the end. I'm going to do the same again with the second one, straight off the end. I'm going to then put those back on to my left hand needle, but I'm going to keep this needle in there because what I want to do is knit them through the back loop. So I just put my yarn around and knit. Okay, and that has decreased by one stitch and created a nice kind of left leaning decrease. I'm going to do that again um, just to show you. So I'm going to slip one as if to knit, slip the second one as if to knit. I'm then going to kind of put them onto the left needle back onto the left needle, but keep the right needle in place because I want to knit them through the back loop. If you don't keep the needle in place, if you take it out, it's not a problem. You've just got to put the needle through the back loop of both stitches, okay, and knit them together. All right, so I'll do one more just to show you again. So slip one as if to knit, slip two as if to knit, put them back onto the left needle. I'll take my needle all the way out and put the needle through the back loops of both and knit them. Okay, now I've actually <laughs> decreased three there, which I didn't want to do, um, but don't worry, this is just for a practice purposes. So I'm going to come all the way along, all the way along my knitting now because these decreases happen at each end of the row of, of, of each of the needles. Okay, so you've got one decrease at each end of both needles. So that's four decreases in total. Okay, so two on each needle. So the first one we've just looked at, so the first decrease on every needle will be the slip slip knit that we've just done. And the last one, we're gonna to get to the last two stitches. When we get to the last two stitches on each needle, it's a bog standard knit two together, and I'm sure you know how to do that. I've got two stitches left on the needle. I'm just gonna put my needle in and knit them together. And that has decreased nice and neatly, and that decrease will lean in that way. So let's go on to our next needle. And do it again. So we know that the first, um, our first decrease is a slip slip knit. So let's do that. Slip one as if to knit. Ooh. Slip two as if to knit. Put them back onto the left needle. Keep my needle in there and knit through the back loop. Whiz along to the other end. Okay, I'm at the end of the second needle and the end when I've got two stitches left, I'm just going to sort of loosen them up a bit. Two stitches left on the needle at the end, I'm going to knit them together. Okay, and that is it. That is all you need to do for your decreases. You do slip slip knit at the beginning and knit two together at the end.